in general, we all, as a collective, myself included, need to care less about what other people think of us. One size fits all, quit the alcohol and you'll feel amazing. I would have a drink for confidence because I didn't know how to show up as myself in a social situation. I think a lot of the reasons why I was nervous to give up alcohol was because of the opinions of other people. And I will hold my hands up and say that even four years down the line, I still get insecure about it. What if I didn't drink and still had the amazing night out but without the anxiety afterwards? And if they say no, get new friends. No. Hello, how are we doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Steph and today we're going to be speaking all about sobriety. Now this is something that I speak a lot about on my Instagram and I thought I would do a little bit of an update on YouTube as I haven't posted it in ages and used to sporadically talk about it. I'm currently sat on the floor of an Airbnb which I will explain in next week's video which goes live Saturday at 10am. Um, but before I start talking about my story and my journey I want to hear from you guys so please update me on your week, how you're feeling, how you're doing in the comments section. I'm really trying to encourage with these weekly uploads to kind of get to know you guys a little bit more as well as sharing on here as well. Now where to begin? Basically my sobriety journey started in 2019. I was kind of thinking about reducing my alcohol intake for quite some time and my boyfriend Lewis and I were going on a trip to Bali for it was about three weeks I think and I thought I'm just going to try it alcohol free and anywhere where we're in an environment that we would usually have a drink I'm just going to have a fresh coconut or a mocktail or something and see how I go. I felt amazing afterwards like I felt incredible my body felt incredible and um, I was having a few issues with digestion so some Sometimes when I was eating I was getting a really swollen tummy and then the moment I stopped drinking alcohol like that definitely definitely stopped so I was feeling amazing and I'm going to speak about some of the other benefits that I felt later on in this video but I was really enjoying how I was feeling and I wasn't missing the alcohol aspect of it so I kind of just decided to see how long I could go for there was a lot of nervousness around kind of labeling myself and I still don't love a label like there's moments when I still get insecure which I will explain further in this video but I kind of just wanted to speak about those pros and those cons for anyone else who is considering going on a similar journey but before I do there's two things I want to say first of all I think when you're speaking about something like this like sobriety it can come across with this superiority complex where I think that I'm better than everyone else but that is not the case at all like this is just my journey my experience so I'm sharing it from a point of like if you are thinking about doing it then here's my experience here's what I felt maybe you could try it rather than being like oh I'm sober and you're not like I don't I don't want it to come across that way and I'm actually not anti-alcohol like I would never tell anyone to stop drinking unless they were already thinking about it and then secondly I kind of before I gave up alcohol I would class myself as a middle lane drinker I wouldn't go out and get obliterated every single night I think I've only been paralytic like a handful of times in my life and that was mostly when I was younger I wouldn't even drink every night like I wouldn't just have a random glass of alcohol with a meal or something it was more so if I was going out with friends or if I was going out partying or whatever it might be I would have enough drinks to get me tipsy and merry so I wouldn't say that I was an alcoholic and I wouldn't say that I was not really interested in alcohol because I did enjoy it when I did drink and I'm saying that because the experience that I'm sharing now is not as an alcoholic and I just kind of want to give some love to anyone that may be struggling more with alcoholism than I was at the time it's not easy to just be like give it up there's a lot more psychological stuff involved with alcoholism and I may not be the right person for you and I just kind of want to say that before I begin because I don't have all of the answers I only have my experience to share and hopefully some assets with what I've learned along the way and some kind of places you can turn to if you are feeling a little bit lost so yeah let's begin I thought it would be important to speak about some of the things that I was nervous about before deciding to give up alcohol. So first of all, I was really worried that my social situations would change. I was really worried that friends would stop inviting me out. I was really worried that I'd be seen as not fun. I think a lot of the reasons why I was nervous to give up alcohol was because of the opinions of other people. I was nervous of what other people might think about what I'm putting in my body, which is just bizarre. I actually asked on my Instagram if anyone had any questions around this topic so that I could answer them in this video and 99% of them were literally about what do you say to your friends? How do you tell other people? And it made me sad to think that actually a lot of us do feel that pressure to drink alcohol and to try and fit in and it is scary to kind of be the odd one out so I completely understand those concerns and that was one of my biggest ones at the beginning of this journey as well. And I think also when I was younger I used to think that you had to be all things to all people so I used to think that I had to be the fun friend, I had to be the person that you could cry to, the person you could laugh with. Just I thought I had to be all of these things to everyone around me and it's just not physically possible. Now I know where I sit in certain friendships and I understand that if someone wants to go out for a really 
boozy night and get absolutely obliterated. I'm not the person they're going to ask and that's okay. As you grow older, obviously your circles do get smaller because everyone's time gets more restricted with all of the other things that go on in life. But I now understand more so where I lie in my certain friendships and also what value I add to those certain friendships. And obviously I was nervous to begin with, but very quickly a lot of my friends kind of reassured me that I had nothing to be nervous about. I do sometimes feel like I have to justify it. Like I do sometimes say like, that will still be fun and things like that, but also like if I want to leave at 10 p.m. instead of 1 a.m., that's okay. And like my choices are within my control. That sounds like such a ridiculous thing to say because all of our choices most of the time are within our control. I think sometimes we forget it and we think that we have to stay out and be the last one standing. And I definitely, definitely did that early on. Like I, I really thought that I had to prove myself as being this fun, sober person. And I had to stay out on the dance floor till the last possible minute. And I still had to make a tit of myself and play the goat and all of these things. But actually you don't have to, like you're choosing not to put alcohol in your body, but you you can also choose what you want to do with your evening and what you want to get out with your evening and if you're not have a good, having a good time you can leave and if people judge you for that then that's their issue not yours it can be so tough because i know 99 percent of the time we just want to fit in we just want to have a good time with our friends and i completely get that but the pros really do outweigh the cons for me in this in this subject and my friends were really understanding so i started by saying oh i'm, I'm just trying this thing where i'm not drinking and they were like okay cool or the occasional person would be like oh go on have one and I'd be like no do you know what it's actually really good for me I'm, I'm not feeling anxious and all of these kind of things and one of the main reasons why I actually considered giving up alcohol I've not even said that I would have the best time on nights out it was always the morning afterwards I wouldn't really suffer with hangovers it was more an increased heart rate loads of anxiety I would kind of worry about if I said anything to offend anyone which I would literally message people and be like did I do anything last night and everyone would be like no and I would remember things but I just have this underlying bubbling anxiety and nervousness and my heart would literally race all day the following day and sometimes even the next and I just felt like one night out was stealing two or three days afterwards so what if I didn't drink and still had the amazing night out but without the anxiety afterwards so that's why I started kind of having alcohol free evenings I would wake up the next day and I'd feel fresh I'd remember everything that happened so I actually had more solid memories with some of my favorite people sometimes I'll drive and it means that I can make sure that all my friends get home safe and I just do feel a lot more control of my evening but alongside that there's been loads of other benefits so like I mentioned previously that like my digestion got so much better and I think it's genuinely because I'm not killing my gut microbiome with alcohol my skin cleared up loads like I was getting really dry, crispy, crispy, crispy skin. I was getting like really dry, crusty skin and blemishes all the time. And if I ever had like a big night out of drinking, I mean, I loved me a shot. I did loads of shots and all things like that. And I would break out all in my forehead and they'd always be those horrible, painful pimples. And I'd always know it was the alcohol because those kind of breakouts have stopped since I've stopped drinking. Obviously I still get the occasional breakout around my period and all of that kind of stuff. But on the whole, uh, my skin is a lot clearer. I would say also, I didn't know this, but there's two guys that I follow called Matt and Andy and I'll speak about them later because they've got an amazing platform if you are considering going alcohol free but Matt has got the most amazing hair like it's so thick and luscious and I'm in awe of it and he said that sober hair is actually a thing so since stopping drinking I feel like my hair has got thicker fuller it's growing faster my hair fell out a lot when I had an eating disorder and there was bald patches and it was something that I was always really insecure about especially when I was at dance college I would spend hours trying to, well not hours I didn't have hours but I would spend a lot of time trying to like patch over my my bald patches when I had to slick my hair back in a bun and things like that and since going alcohol free my hair has grown stronger and thicker and all of these benefits that I haven't actually recognized until speaking to other people in the sober community and it's been really cool to kind of have my feelings and experiences validated and I think that's why it's so important to follow a variety of people speaking about the same topic because some people pick up on things that other people don't. There is a platform called Sober Girl Society and that was founded by a girl called Millie Gooch who is absolutely incredible and she is so confident in her alcohol free story and she is one of the leaders in the industry. Like, she shares a lot of content around what you can do instead of drinking. She also hosts a lot of events through Sober Girl Society so she does dance workshops, she does meetups and alcohol free evenings and all of these really really cool things so if you're watching this video feeling like you're alone in this decision and that just because none of your friends don't want to stop drinking it doesn't mean you're alone like there's such a wave and a noise being made around this topic and, and I think there has been for a long 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 time I've only realized it recently because I've embarked on this journey myself um, and then obviously there's Matt and Andy who I mentioned earlier as well they actually founded an app called dry which is a completely free app to download and you can be added into certain communities where you can speak to other people in similar situations as you so again you feel like you're not alone because it can be quite lonely 
sometimes and you get people commenting like oh just have one or, and I will hold my hands up and say that even four years down the line I still get insecure about it like we went to a street party on our road everyone's like oh Steph what are you drinking I could have just said like I'm not drinking today but I said oh I don't drink and straight away I was just like oh and I felt this sinking feeling of like they're gonna judge me and think that I am less than person because I don't drink or I'm not gonna get invited to things anymore because I don't drink and do you know what's really funny I speak about not drinking online quite a lot but in person I would much rather go on nights out and no one know get a ginger beer with a lime in it so people think I'm drinking an old-fashioned or something and it does make me feel like a fraud sometimes because I'm speaking online about being confident being alcohol free but actually I still suffer those insecurities and I think it is because the culture especially in the UK is around drinking have fun this is how we have a good time and I'm hoping that the more situations I throw myself into and the more confident I get within myself in general, maybe I'll be able to show up a little bit more and speak about it a little bit more in person when I'm meeting new people. Because sometimes I feel like I have to justify myself. I feel like when I'm meeting someone on a night out, I have to say, oh, um, I don't drink, but I promise I'm still fun and I'll still have a good time. Other benefits including saving money like i would spend so much money on a night out because the more you drink you just lose your ambitions and you lose your concept of everything and i would pay for taxis home and i would suddenly become the most generous person in the bar and be like shots for everyone and it would just cost so much money especially at dinner times with friends and stuff like splitting a bottle of wine all of that stuff adds up a lot i also feel like my sleep has improved my energy levels have improved especially the day after i just feel like i'm up and ready to go even if i've had a late night i just feel like no time is then wasted from being hungover. i have more clarity now to make better choices that I know my future self will thank me for and again I don't want this to come across as like this superiority thing it's literally just what I've experienced there are a few things that I feel like I miss out on I definitely felt early on like I felt like I was missing out on some of the jokes but that comes with confidence where you just have to throw yourself into situations and sometimes there are experiences that I feel like I miss out on like for example one of my friends for her birthday did a wine tasting so I just said you've only got 12 spaces invite someone else so I felt like I missed out in situations like that also from me sharing this story I'm not trying to promote like be alcohol free but even if you just want to reduce the amount that you drink it's finding a routine and a way that this works for you I found it easy to just completely go cold turkey rather than feel like I could then be persuaded by other people or kind of fall into that peer pressure rather than just being a little bit lenient and then having that wiggle room to kind of be like oh fine do you know what I mean so that was why I made my choices but you don't have to do that if you just want to reduce that is more than okay too or even if you just want to try it for a period of time see how you feel and that is something that I will always encourage like at the moment on Instagram I'm running a challenge called joyful January and there's journal prompts on a story highlight if you do want to get involved and it's all about checking in with how you feel if you do go out and have a drink it absolutely does not mean that you failed this alcohol free journey like there is no win or lose it is all about how you are feeling so constantly checking in with yourself to be like okay I drank last night why was it was it peer pressure? Was it because I really needed one? Was it because there was a stressful day at work? Was it because I felt a bit down? Really being in tune with your feelings and actually understanding why you're picking up the drink in the first place. Like I know for a fact that a lot of the time I would have a drink for confidence because I didn't know how to show up as myself in a social situation. Last year, I actually went to a birthday party and the only person I knew was the birthday girl. I did it completely sober. It was amazing. And I was like, wow, like this is a full circle moment. I feel so proud of myself because I know for a fact that I would have had to have got at least five drinks down me to be having a joke with all of these people. And like then karaoke came out and I was like, oh God, like I'm the only sober one here. This is so embarrassing. But you have to remember that nine times out of 10 in drinking environments, most people are drunk anyway. They are not gonna remember what you do, what you say, or if they do, it's gonna be in small fragments. They're just there to have a good time as well. So I think it's that reframe and that mindset shift. You can be all of the things that you wanna be. You just have to have the confidence to show up as that person and also understand what it actually is you wanna be. Are you trying to be the fun one for other people or are you trying to be the fun one because you actually enjoy being the fun one? I also need to declare that obviously I'm in a long-term relationship. I used to always drink on dates. I don't know how I would feel being in the dating scene sober. I do understand that dating is so daunting and sometimes having a glass of wine can ease those nerves. So I fully get it. And I don't know if I would have been so quick to make my decision had I have been single. So I can't really share much around that topic, but I will definitely ask questions to other people in the community. So hopefully next time I speak about this, I can add more value around there and also like I don't have an office job I work predominantly by myself at home and there's not an environment where bonding
bonding takes place over a dinner or you go for after work drinks after a stressful day and it's all to take the edge off. I can't share my experience in that because I can understand that that peer pressure must be so strong. Like I'm not sure if you've seen that episode in Friends where Rachel takes up smoking just to be involved with everyone to go on all of these trips and to feel included at work. So I understand that there is such a big pressure around that topic as well and I really wish I could add value there. So if anyone does have any tips, if you are on your sobriety journey, if you could share any tips on that in the comments, that would be amazing. And again, I will speak to people in the industry to kind of get an answer for you for that. I probably should have done it before this video, but here we are. I do know that my circumstances are very different to other people's and I don't want to just sit here and be like, one size fits all, quit the alcohol and you'll feel amazing because it might not actually work for you. But one thing I will say is just really try and prioritize you, your mindset, your mental health, how you're feeling and really try and ask yourself the question, am I drinking for me because I enjoy it or am I drinking to impress the people around me? So now I'm just going to go to the questions and just fire through them and if you do have any further questions around this topic, if I haven't covered it today, there is the comment section and throughout the week I try and reply to them all. So do let me know. Where is my archive stories? One second please hold. Do you ever get tempted by alcohol or has this feeling completely disappeared? Oh my God, there's so many times, especially early on in the evening, there are so many times where I will turn up at an event and be like, oh, should I just have one? Like everyone's just getting there and they're just kind of getting drunk and everyone's bubbly and giggly. And I think, oh, should I just have one? If you can get through the first hour of an event, nine times out of 10, you can get through the whole evening. Like usually the only time that I wanna have a drink. I do get tempted by it, but not enough to kind of sway me over the edge. And also never say never, like in 10 years time, in five years time, I might completely change my mind. Right now, this is the decision for me. How do you deal with people commenting on why you're not drinking at dinners? I think I'm just honest most of the time. I'm just like, oh. Actually, no, I do need to say one thing. I was at a house party recently and everyone was playing beer pong and stuff and I wasn't drinking. And someone's like, can I get you a drink? And I was like, oh no, I'm fine, thank you. And they're like, no, honestly, honestly, let me get you a drink. And I was like, oh no. Again, trying to avoid the fact that I don't drink, just trying to avoid the topic completely. And then someone was like, why? And I was like, oh, <laughs> panic rash coming up my neck. I was like, um, I don't actually drink. And then they were like, oh, yeah, I've got friends who are addicted to that juice too. And I just stood there and I was like, oh no, they think I was an alcoholic because that is a lot of people's reactions a lot of the time. And I was like, oh no, I wasn't an alcoholic, but I don't want to tell them that I just used to get a little bit nervous the next day. And so I kind of just was like, ha ha yeah like i didn't say yeah i was an alcoholic but i also didn't say no i just panicked and i just froze and i just my entire social skills just went Poof. if i know the people i am honest and i'm just like look it's not for me when i am honest and i say look i used to get really bad anxiety a lot of people are like oh i feel the same oh yeah i get that and then suddenly you have an amazing conversation but it is what it is and i'm just hoping to gain the confidence to just be able to say it flat out straight away before getting nervous but we're all human, hey? When drunk, I can spend all night on the dance floor, but it gets boring when sober. I think it depends who you're with and where you are. We went to a wedding last year. We had the most amazing time. We danced all through the evening, and it was amazing because everyone else was in such a high mood, and it was just beautiful. But sometimes, I do just get a bit bored, and I'm like, all right, it's time for me to go. And that is okay. Like, you don't have to party the whole night away if you're not feeling comfortable to do so. Like, I can't go over how many questions there are about friends and other people. When friends seem disappointed you're not drinking at parties and events. Honestly, that, that's such a them issue. Like, if it was drugs, right? If someone said, oh, I'm not doing cocaine tonight, people wouldn't be like, oh, why? Like, why are you not doing cocaine? Like, we're all doing cocaine. Why are you not doing cocaine? Because alcohol is a drug that people even think it's okay to be like, oh, why are you not drinking? Why do you not want to get your face? I just find it so bizarre. In general, we all, as a collective, myself included, need to care less about what other people think of us. And I don't know how we do it. And if anyone finds the magic ticket, like, please send it my way. And I think we should just all make the pact together that we're just going to not give a shit about what other people think of us. How do you deal with people pressuring you? Like, what? Like, why? Don't let them bully you into drinking if you don't want to. Like, not bullying, that's a bit extreme, isn't it? But, like, you really have to stick to your truth and understand your why. Like, that is one of the main reasons why I wanted to start Joyful January in this really nice challenge where we just do journal prompts every Monday and Friday just to understand your reasoning as to why you might have reached for a drink that weekend or why you were thinking about it or what environment you were in when you were drinking. It's really understanding all of the pressures around you. Where are they coming from? Who are they coming from? And how are they swaying your judgment? And I think that is so powerful when you can really have a strong, solid why. And then if someone asks you, you will be like such a strong building or boulder rock I don't know that like even if someone's trying to push you you won't budge I don't know if that's a good analogy or not but I think when you're solid with your why people can't sway you 
I just did that. That's not what I meant. But I was just trying to explain something visually, but it just didn't really work out, did it? My last point that I want to leave you on after that is, is basically just saying that, like, my expectation of how I want to spend my time with people has changed so much. And I don't know if it's from being alcohol free or if it's COVID, but now I want like quality time. I know sometimes you want to just have an escape and a bit of a laugh and forget about reality with people. And I fully, fully get that. But now like I don't see my friends very often. Everyone is so busy. Everyone is living their own lives. And like if I see my friends, I want to probably see them. I want to speak to them for hours. I want to know everything that they've been up to. Just getting pissed at a nightclub where you can't hear each other, where you can't see each other where there's so much strobe light and then it's such a late night like that just doesn't really appeal to me anymore i now know my kind of core friends that i always want to see and also where i want to see them and i think that's really important within this journey as well um oh that's one question i've forgotten is everyone asks what i drink on a night out and i'm gonna be honest there's a lot of non-alc spirits on the market there's things like nozeco that i absolutely love because you feel like you're drinking prosecco and you're involved you get to pop a bottle and you kind of get that experience and i absolutely love that there are some non-alc spirits on the market but a lot of the time they taste really botanical and i'm not the biggest fan one of my favorite favorite drinks is i freaking love a ginger beer with fresh lime like you get that zing and that warmth of I don't know like a little bit of spice if the ginger beer is a good one and then you get the lime in it and then it it looks like you're drinking a proper drink it feels like you're drinking a proper drink and you're not just on water or juice and another thing that I want to say around that is when you're out for dinner speak up like if you're not drinking alcohol make sure you're not paying for it because sometimes I have been lumped with a bill where everyone's like shall we just split it and I've paid 50 quid more than I should have done because everyone got triple tequilas and six bottles of wine and like it can be really uncomfortable and you can feel like an absolute cheapskate but like you didn't have the alcohol so just vocalize that and be like guys I've been drinking do you mind if we take the alcohol off and if they say no get new friends no, I'm joking so yeah that's kind of my top tips the main takeaways are remember your why or figure out your why you want to embark on this journey Number two, do things for you and not other people's opinions. Number three, you don't have to be the fun one or the last one standing if that's not who you are or if that's not who you want to be. So yeah, I hope this has been helpful. I don't really know if that has been because I can't really, really remember what I've said. And if you do want to see more of the alcohol-free content or if you do have any other questions, um, then let me know in the comments. Fabulous. Well, thank you so much for watching. And like I said, please update me on how your week has been because I would love, love, love to know. I will see you next week on Saturday at 10 a.m. Lots of love.